we are on our way to the Des Moines RV Show. Welcome. We are Dale and Janine and our channel is called Forward Journey and it's all about living life to the fullest in retirement and for us a lot of that happens in exploration and discovery as we travel in our RV. This week we want to check out the Des Moines RV Show and see what's new. We found out that it's being held at the Iowa State Fairgrounds inside one of the large buildings. So it's uh, freezing cold here in Des Moines, but there's nothing that makes you think about summer more than getting to go to an RV show. So this one I think is gonna have towable trailers, uh, so probably travel trailers and fifth wheels. I don't believe there's any motorized Class A or Class Bs here, but kind of fun for us to check it out and uh, enjoy it on a cold winter's day. The Iowa RV Show runs this weekend from February 3rd through 6th at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. There were so many models to see and so much to explore. We couldn't do in-depth reviews of each of these. You'll need to go yourself. But we did want to highlight a few models that were unique and innovative and that we were kind of impressed with. Very high quality uh, upholstery and leather in here. Very comfortable looking. And your master bed in the truck camper is up here. But very nice quality in here. Smart use to put a mirrored on the fridge. A mirrored surface on the fridge. Yeah. yeah. And and we have a wet bath. bath similar to a class B van. We are sitting inside a uh, 2022 Sierra. It's the 3440 bunkhouse model. It is huge. So this fifth wheel is really large. Uh, it's got a master bedroom and bath like a lot of the fifth wheel designs. But then in the back, it has a whole setup for kids. A bunk, another double bed, and another bathroom back there. I wouldn't call it a bunk, I'd call it a loft. Okay, a loft. A loft with a, with a double bed. Bathroom. So but certainly, a lot of people could travel in this. And the kitchen is very complete too. Looks like it has an oven and a full fridge, microwave, and a nice pantry here. I don't know if you can see this, but this is big. And then it's got the whole TV and fireplace thing going on too. So this one has tons of room as we talked about. Uh, you can see behind me there is a uh, TV and fireplace, perfect setup to sit down here at the couch uh, and enjoy. Uh, you've got the big island kitchen here and a nice good size, good size fridge. And then in the back. But this is kind of the neat thing. There's two out back outside here, entrances too. You've got another double bed here and then you've got a loft. Again, with lots of storage space and a, and a built-in ladder to get up to that loft and then a whole separate bathroom that's also got its own entrance and so again if you're camping and set up nice to pop in and just use the bathroom quickly but also a whole extra living area in this unit and then we'll take you forward and you can see the uh, see the master Here is the master bedroom with chargers on either side of the bed. And there's a slide out here so it gives you extra counter space, closet space, sorry. And then there's a separate entrance into the main bathroom from the master. And you've got the corner radius shower. And then this back out into the main hallway. As with most fifth wheels, there's a lot of storage uh, in the Sierra. It is equipped 
with space for two propane tanks and here you can see the price that they had it on uh, at the show. I'll also include a spec sheet here with some of the uh, specifics. I like the slam latch doors that they had and the solid staircase that folds up into the doorway. Another trailer that caught our eye at the show was the uh, Coachman Freedom Express travel trailer. This model was the 238 BHS. Right. Look at the nice outdoor kitchen. Yeah. There's a Murphy bed for you, Peens, and a U-shaped dinette. This is the uh, 2022 Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight. It's the 238 uh, BHS or bunkhouse option. Right when you walk in the door, there's the living area with the couch. Behind it is the Murphy bed. And I really am a fan of Murphy beds. It's because you can use the space in two ways and in such a small area, you need to have more uses. It makes it so practical. And there's a nice uh, kitchen here. Nice U-shaped dinette. Tell us a little bit about your other pet peeve. Why do you like this kitchen? This cap counter extension makes perfect sense in this location. But when it's right in front of the door, I think it doesn't make any sense at all. We've seen several that uh, trailers and motorhomes that have the counter extension that pops right in front of the door. The other thing that's nice about this U-shaped dinette, there is storage underneath but this table is also movable. So you could take that outside uh, or move it away, fold it down. That makes into a bed as well. And behind you are the bunks. And back here are the two bunk beds in this model. Very, very sharp. They've got the covers up on the windows, but there are windows in there. Very nice setup. And then you get the uh, corner bath, which is really quite large. The advantage too, if you've got small kids, this type of setup actually has a small little bathtub. So in addition to a shower, you've got a bathtub option. We've always kind of liked Coachman. Uh, they use Asdale, uh, which is uh, better than uh, some of the sidewalls that can tend to be susceptible to moisture. And then right across the U-shaped dinette, if you sit down here, you've got a great view of the TV good size fridge in this unit as well. And again, we just like the functionality that if you've got friends over, you can sit down and visit on that couch. When it's time for bed, it flops down and that, that space gets reused, which makes a lot of sense. like this floor plan. This is a neat uh, fifth wheel. It's a smaller low profile fifth wheel but uh, we really like the way this this floor plan sets up and it is relatively affordable compared to some of the other uh, fifth wheels we've seen. So you've got a nice kitchen fireplace area here. You have a fantastic whole back room here with bunk beds. Built-in bunk bed there. And then two bunk beds here, a drop down one and, and one, one here that would make out of that couch. So nice with a door, so kind of a separate area if you had guests. I like, the U -shaped dinette. I like the U shaped dinette with storage underneath it. Uh, I like the contrasting colors with the white. Good sized fridge. And then up here you've got the master. And again, because it's a lower profile, you don't have a lot of height, but you've got the room that you need with some storage underneath that bed. 
So this is a nice setup. This is the Puma 29.5 BHSS. And it's on at the show for 37. Some of the more reasonable ones we've seen. just a few of the models we wanted to highlight. There were so many things to see at the show. We hope this inspires you to uh, check out an RV show, maybe this one if you're in Des Moines this weekend, or find one near you. But do some exploring and do some planning, because life is a forward journey, and getting out in an RV is a great way to explore it. Take care. See you next time.